Brian here doing an analysis for January 9th. Um, okay, January 9th, 4.15 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is where the strategy's been running pretty well for the last 26 hours since 12 p.m., maybe 28 hours. So it's up 14.47%, win ratio of 90.1%. Uh, the market's currently the top 20. Let me just see where they're at. There's a couple of types of new analysis that I'm doing here. So again, as before, we only have five that are just barely profitable at NEO 0.3%. So that's for the hourly. Now, this particular strategy we're looking at, the old one, what I'm doing is I'm combining it into the profitable one. And as long as the profit stays decent in terms of the daily return and win ratio is maintained at a pretty high level, I'll continue to do this. So the older strategy uh, that I've demoed for quite a while up until beginning of December in 2018, this is the one I'm talking about. Um, so it generates a lot of files, uh, still works off of Binance as well. So right now everything gets put into, let me just see where I'm at. Oh, always helps to put it, everything into, um, Binance. There's a lot, as I said, there's a lot of files generated. We get, uh, CSVs generated. Uh, we get, uh, a lot of Excel. Uh, we get documents, we get um, PNG files, which are the charts, it's a couple there, but most of them at some point will end up in the report data, and um, I'm going to go through that right now and show you what is in the market. So first thing first I want to look at is crypto, what I call crypto risk and uh, that tells me how things are looking for the big boy coins uh, and I'll show you how it works I've shown this before um, so we've got the initial original coin market or sorry coinbase big uh, five coins ethereum USD uh, ethereum classic against USD Litecoin against USD Bitcoin cash against USD and of course Bitcoin USD and uh, here's the ranking so we have uh, aggressive trading which is greater than one uh, it's a weighted average uh, also for, that's for each of them so we have one that is uh, bringing in a return um, hourly return of 0.5 to 1 percent um, we have some what we call anemic only two out of the five uh, between the range of 0 and 0.5, and then two of them are negative. So it's fairly mixed right now, and it's not very strong. Next uh, thing we need to look at is, let's go and look at what is on the watch list according to this. So we will load up the spreadsheet for watch list. All right, so there's nothing on the watch list at this present time. Uh, that could be wrong. That could be a bug for all I know, but we will have to look at that. Okay. So another one that I like to look at is uh, what I call most profitable. This is the pairs that show potential of moving up in the next hour or so and um, these are the um, hourly changes um, over how many pairs we got 89 so out of that um, we can measure it by either volume and these are the hourly or three hour changes and um, these are the big ones over a certain percent um, I guess 1% is the, what we're looking for. So some of them 
you can see here are moving quite a bit higher within an hour, 32, 25, 22. And I keep stressing, um, even though they look good on an hourly basis uh, with the old strategy, um, they look amazing. But we need to track um, the momentum, or sorry, the whipsaws that happen while we watch these particular pairs. And uh, those that have or been put on a watch list uh, for whipsaws don't get traded. And they have to, they're measured between the last three to six hours for whipsaws. So just wanting to highlight that note, and we'll take a look at that in a minute. Um, so we have most profitable and uh, here we have certain ones that have the most potential based upon filtering out those whipsaws so these are the ones that have um, are moving but they didn't have any whipsaws behind them so oh no we don't want that one we want that most potential this can get confusing. So the most potential ones are the ones without the whipsaw. So these are the ones that have been doing fairly well um, on an hourly move without whipsaw. So if we were to trade these ones, chance, chances are we should be okay to trade. Um, and again, we can uh, make sure that there is, of course, the volume behind some of these to ensure that uh, we can trade them and get in and out uh, being liquid. So for instance, BCH uh, against S or BCH SV PTC, uh, let's see what the um, volume, uh, just see what the uh, volume would be. Um, okay, so the volume is very light here, as you can see. Same with this one here, T U S D E T H would be another one that we would be wanting to be concerned with. Ada uh, is is pretty hot right now. So let's see how that one should be okay. That's a pretty well known. Yeah, so. It's not the best, uh, but it's up there. Um, DNT, definitely we've been tracking that for the last day. The volume is very high for that one. Litecoin's another one. Um, uh, actually, Litecoin Ethereum, that is very low volume. Uh, so that might not be a, a wise choice, but we'll let the other strategy trade that because I know that can do quite well as it has been for the last number of hours and this last one uh, again low volume so uh, the only one out of that that might be worthwhile is ADA um, or, or Cardano DNT as well worth trading those are the only two ones I'd probably look at right now okay knowing all that fun stuff let's see what other things we can look at so the volume um, as well as the crypto bar most profitable from a um, charting point of view would look like this. So as I said, you may have seen this before, but um, you can clearly see that three ADA is up there, uh, purple four, which is DNT Ethereum. So those are the two highest volume. So as I put on my chat, uh, earlier this uh, morning, right here, I said, uh, let me just uh, pull that. Okay, let me just uh, show that. Okay, so I said, this is what I said this morning, if you are a member. LTC was the new yesterday, and it was the biggest mover for that day. So this morning, at uh, 826, we have a working theory that looks like it is just doing that. It's it's the theory that's becoming practical. Today I woke to ADA being the big mover, so I'm waiting to see what happens if you can profit from this today. 
I did seem it as a big mover an hour ago, and it still is according to the chart I just showed you. Where is it? Where's my preview? Right here. So you can see that ADA is a big mover. It is profitable as well. As, uh, let's see if I, no, I don't have it loaded up yet. So if I showed you the other one, open um, crypto volume, and then we want the other one. Uh, where, where are you? This one right here, crypto bar early profit. So we want to open that one. So again, you can see here that ETA is profitable at the time that this chart was generated in the last hour or so, about 22.55%. So that holds true to what I've said on my chat. So again, that is in the news that was posted. That was what I woke to. Okay, so those are interesting things to work from. All right, so we've shown you this chart. We have shown you these two files, these Excel. Um, okay, let's go through the uh, whipsaws. So open whipsaw. So Excel. So these are the whipsaws of the last um, since 9:30 this morning, and it was tracked all the way up to four hours ago. Um, but you can clearly see who the um, the uh, where the um, whipsaws are, but I don't see Ada in here. Nor do I see the other one, there's a DNT. No, there's no DNT, so those are safe ones to, to potentially trade. So that's the whipsaws. Also, I have this other spreadsheet, which is pretty well the same, or should be the same. Uh, let me see here, I'm gonna open up this one called Remove Negative Crypto. So that one's the same. So if I look for LTC, or I'm sorry, we're looking for ADA. Nope. And the other one is, what's the other one? Uh, DNT, nothing. Okay. So this, this, these two files, the one that's removed negative is pretty well the same as the watch list. All right, so uh, moving to the next uh, file, we've shown you this, this, uh, that, whipsaws I've shown you. I could show you the stats, but uh, usually people don't really care for that. So we're now going to show you the um, Word documents. Okay, so we have a bunch of them. These are the actual full on detailed reports. So set of reports a few days ago I showed you the short opportunities, the long opportunities, and two other ones. One specifically based upon uh, volume and another one based upon trend. So why don't we look at the generic open long. Let's see, I'm going to just focus let's say on the top three. So these are pretty big. Okay. So you can see here, these are the ones that have the most potential. But again, the problem is, are they on the, on the, uh, the uh, what do you call the whipsaw list? Okay. So most of them probably are. But we know that ADA Ethereum is on there. So... Let's say um, I'll just focus on the top three. So um, let's get over to the beginning of uh, the Z Z I L Ethereum. Okay, let's see. 
activities are in order of uh, potential. So we'll start at the beginning here. So this new one I've never heard of. Okay, this is how it works for most people. We have the volume mean of the group listed here. We also have the volatility. So I'm just going to put these in a separate directory for comparative purposes. Okay, so for instance, right off the bat, this one is going to be more volatile than the group mean. So uh, the volume is really low. It is within the Fibonacci range. But again, I, I just look for all these things based upon buy-sell signals with just using crossing signals, uh, moving average signals, we'll see how rarely we have an opportunity to hang on to positions. We are at a down slope. Um, this definitely has more negative movements, so, but this is where things get very interesting for me, is the bullish Gartley. Um, these head and shoulders can be quite interesting. Um, it is breaking trend here. It is sort of break and trend here. I've got better use of these target levels for stop losses and um, stop losses and take profit targets, so I can make better use of those. But uh, still testing that out. Um, and then these are the different views of the of uh, the different averages. So we have a one eighty day, ninety. And this is the one you want to watch is the 30. So if you were just to trade on a, let's say, uh, daily basis only, you get a big move, a down move. And then it's right here where these candles form that we're looking for. And that's probably the biggest factors determining um, with the harmonics here. So here we have a Gartley harmonic. We also have um, this head and shoulders. Again, it's breaking trend, so that is um, a potential. There is also candles that we look for, so there's a bullish. So this is all bullish moves. So um, this is uh, on MCO Ethereum. So you know we have a buy signal right here. So this may be an opportunity to get in oh also you can tell the momentum has been just been moving up so this may be something to uh, watch for so with this momentum coming off the lower range of the RSI that is definitely something to be on an alert for so let me see on Binance this particular pair, see how we're doing. Um, I need uh, this one right here. No. Uh, need this guy. So this coin is MCO Ethereum. Let's see where this is at. This could be very interesting. Um, I know I can pull up trading view. Okay. So we always pick off our, making sure we have Binance as our source. But um, let's see here, Binance. So between Binance and what was the other exchange, Bittrex, they are moving pretty close. We have a sell signal on it, but uh, my system's saying otherwise. Let me get, try to get rid of, I don't know how to get rid of one of these. Mm. Let's see if there's any technicals. They've changed the site here. Uh, yeah, so let me just pull up the signal, the technicals. Um, so it is a sell. If we look at it on an hourly basis, it's definitely in a buy 
mode right there. 15 minute, it's a buy. So this might be actually a good one. A strong buy. Hmm. So this this can work uh, quite a bit. Okay. Um, so that one works. I'm just get rid of this program here. Okay. Um, so that is our first uh, pick based upon the longs. But again, that's a low volume. But there's a lot of experimentation here to see on liquidity and volume what holds and what doesn't hold in terms of if it's really a factor if we get things like a buy signal. We're very close to testing that. Okay, so the next one was VCO. These are all new. Sorry, VT, VET, USDT. I'm going to be honest, I don't like these ones that end in USDT. Um, there's very little momentum, but what I will do is I will just go in here in the trading view and see what it says. Okay. Hello. Please respond. Oh boy. Looks like I have to load in a better browser. I've been having problems with uh, good old uh, Safari lately. So let's see if the Firefox will work. It should. Okay. Man. Okay, so we want this. Um, so VET, is that our next one? No. So we have MCO, so we have Litecoin actually being suggested here. Um, Litecoin is coming off a trend of some kind, a flat trend. And it is, so it's been in a very bad negative move. Again, these, these, these harmonics are really important. Bullish Gartley. Um, bullish Gartley is found. The head and shoulder, it's still below the trend. But here's where it gets interesting is we have a bullish, bullish, bullish. So we have three separate bullish candles. That is strong. And you can clearly see that these are shaping. Look at this run up. With Litecoin, that's in the last 24 hours. And if you look at my uh, system, uh, where's my position? Uh, if I was to run, uh, let me see here. Pull up another, and I'll show you that my system, the other strategy, the winning strategy, has been picking up those quite nicely. The big winner last night, as I said, was Litecoin and uh, Python, you know, POS. Uh, POS. And uh, as I said in my that message uh, the previous night, you'll see all the Litecoin. BNB's done well. Litecoin has done pretty good. But for a while, it was just Litecoin, 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 and and um, uh, Neo were the big winners last night, and you can see why. Litecoin's just been on this big move for the last few days, and the momentum is again really, 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 really strong. So again, um, that's clearly a big winner. But um, I wouldn't say this is, well, it might be early stages, but you can see it's starting to tail off, but the candles are still showing very strong signaling. So this still may be going up. Let's see uh, what uh, TradingView says. Litecoin against uh, Ethereum. So I'll take my Binance, the data source. So let's check out on the hourly basis here. Okay, so let's say one day. See, it's coming off of a, um, 
a bounce here. So that's pretty good. Buy, it has a buy signal as well. So that's pretty good. Um, this 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 has been pretty okay. The uh, the strategy has been not too bad. The other one's a clear winner without even thinking about it. Uh, so let's go back. So definitely Litecoin's another big one. We have a, a nice new signal, and you can clearly see it in this chart right here uh, on the trend line. Uh, but it has had been pounded pretty hard, but it might be coming back. So we, as I said, we have a bullish, um, Gartley, a harmonic, and then three. That's pretty strong, again, on the candle front. So we definitely, definitely like these. So we have this other one. So again, let me see how that volume. So the average volume is right here. So this, this again, it's very light, but the key is this business of the uh, volatility. So if our standard deviation is higher than the average group mean of volatility, um, you clearly see it's more volatile, but I did not check the volatility of Litecoin as well. So the volume is, it, it, look, at, look, look at Litecoin, it, the, the volatility is very low compared to um, the uh, this one right here. So let's check out the A and B right here. Um, but again, this, this does not look like it is above its historical trend. Mm, slightly more negative returns. Uh, it is below the traditional, but there's no other harmonic generated. No. So this is the sort of charts I don't like. One day it's up, the next day it's down, up, down, up, down. No, I don't like this one. So I would definitely say the first two were pretty good. This one I am not a fan of. So let's check out the next one. This is NX. NX, N, N, X, X, S. Um, this one might have some volume. Well, the, the volatility is fairly low. Evenly daily returns. Wow, it got, it went, went up and it came, it came, yeah, you can see it, but, but that's a, a very strong move. Three, Detected, bullish, bullish. Again, very strong, strong uh, candles here. Now, there's no harmonic generated, which is fine. Uh, let me see here. So, is there any other? As you can see here, it's gone up. It's been pretty consistent. Momentum, it's starting to maybe tick up, but it could taper off. It's not as strong as the first two. But this was definitely an opportunity we missed out on. Um, let me just pull up the uh, coin again. Well, it's NX. This one, NXS Ethereum. So let's see what this one is. Nexus. So this one might have been on a float. Yeah, it's been pretty good, but it does appear to be fairly volatile, but the buy signal is there. So on the hourly, yeah, this is more of a, of, of a crypto pair that you'd hang on for day trading only. Don't trade this intraday. So that looks not too bad, but again, an entry on, or uh, end of day strategy. Okay, so let's go back to other things I can sort of show you. Okay.
Now, what we've done is we've looked at this particular uh, report. Now, when the markets look good, it will generate more reports. My last one I did a few days ago, only shorts were uh, generated because the markets were so negative. But there is some data generated here um, through longs, and we can only long in finance and Binance. So we can um, do uh, longs based upon volume and trend. So let's check out the one on trend first. Let's clear out the other. So I don't get confused as I usually do. All right, so we are crypto uh, long based on trends. So let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so we have not as many, but uh, oddly enough, we have Ethereum. So this is based upon trends. So these are, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say on this, but Neo is in there, which has been performing pretty good. Oddly, when it comes to Neo, uh, well, we'll look at them. So here is Ethereum. So these are, pay, as I said, based upon trend line slope. You can always check those in the Excel files for <coughs> uh, crypto rank right here. This will give you a ranking based upon any of the criteria we can uh, track on. Nope, we don't want that. Nope, 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 nope. Okay. So... BCH, this is Bitcoin Cash BNB is our first one, it looks like. Hmm. I'm not sure if this is valid or not. The volume. I mean, there's literally no volume. So the question is, is it worth really looking at? Uh, I'm always looking for the, tr the, the harmonics and the trends. So now we have XZB, XSC, BNB. Anything that uses the BNB, the Binance coin, I kind of question. But what I'm looking for are specifically anything that has the um, uh, bullish, oh, sorry, a harmonic or a candle. Because that's when I'll start looking at it. Uh, so you can hear we have. Uh, one candle bullish. So let's check out this may be worth it, but it's B, it's in BNB, so uh, I'm not too, I don't get too excited by this, but again, um, just, I don't know. There's a lot of negative moves there, but there is a bullish crab below the trend and there is a bullish candle. Let's see what it's trying to tell us. Momentum is now at zero. It's really flat. I don't even know if it's worth tying up capital for this. I want to tell you, probably not. Litecoin BNB, the next one, just a downward trend. Uh, look at all the negative. Daily returns. I mean, these 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 harmonics. You need to be very careful. But this one does interest me, and we do have a bullish signal. Because um, as I said earlier, we have Litecoin on the move, so this may be an okay one to do well with, as you can see here. But um, the question is, are the daily moves over? Um, there might still be some opportunity in it, but. Not that I'm seeing. Now the other interesting one is Neo here, BNB. The other one was in Tether. Uh, so let's check out these. Um, yeah, see, it is above that neckline, but just doesn't. There is no um, harmonic, but there is a. Uh, it's bearish, so forget it. This one is, yeah, 
I think that's where we'll end that particular analysis on trend. The next uh, report, as I said, we can report or generate um, reports on volume. This one's quite interesting, actually. So let me just check. Pull this one up, see what it says. So these are the big players, the top players that I've shown you on the volume. So let's see what we have here. So, <laughs> of course, we have DENT Ethereum. That's been looking good. But let me let me just take the uh, group volume and volatility and see how these compare. Okay, so first of all, we did check the, the whip saws for uh, DNT Ethereum, you, or yeah, Dent Ethereum. Uh, you can see here it is below volume uh, against the group. Also, the other thing is the volume. This is a very high in volume. This looks like a, a, uh, a give me to uh, make some good money with you get uptrend. Um, it's below value according to the Fibs, the Fibonacci. It has had more negative returns, which is quite odd. But no harmonics at all. Mm, 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 mm. But here it's below. So we have both a bullish. Oh, we have two bullish. So that that's pretty strong then. Um, let's see what's going on. Uh, it's just, is that, uh, here's the problem. Um, no, it, it's hit, it's just hitting the, uh, zero momentum. So it may be on the move. What does our RSI say? It is at just below 50. So this may be another mover. We can see here, it just, it does, when it goes down, it goes down. Um, Uh, it's still negative momentum. Doesn't exactly excite me. <laughs> so um, let's see what the trading view says about this. DENT -E Ethereum. Let's see what it says. DENT -E Ethereum. Binance, of course. This is one of the most highly traded uh, pairs out there. Don't ask me why, but. And fairly flat. The technical say sell. This may be more of an intraday opportunity. Wow, look at that. It's just, it's been, the volatility just says it all right there. The pricing. Um, let's see what the buy sell says. Sell signal. Yeah, it's not looking good. But those, those bullish candles. But my other strategy does not, I've not seen DNT traded in there at all. Let's see my database, see what it says. Check the current. Okay, so EOS is being traded right now. Let's see, do we have uh, DNT? Mm. No, there's no DNT. Yeah, that might be because it's, but it's not on the on the whipsaw list. But uh, it's just the, the successful tr strategy is not really touching it. See the whipsaw. So here, the the more recent, uh, I'm sorry, uh, these ones are the more recent uh, whipsaws. Mm. Let's see, I don't see DNT in there and you see why waves is not being treated lately but a lot of these are just really volatile with their uh but dnt is not in there for some reason i don't know why my system's not uh trading it okay so let's go back to the word 
So interesting. XRP USDT. You know, that's a pretty decent volume. 50,000. Low volatility again. But I don't see a buy signal. It's been a downtrend. Mm. Evenly distributed on the, uh, I'm going to assume, on the daily returns. Hammer down like crazy. Bullish, bullish, very strong, very strong uh, combination here. But my system will not touch, uh, will not trade um, BNB or Tether markets because they're just not in the volume. Uh, but this looks okay if you are into it. It's at zero, but just squeezes down. You can see these averages here. Something's gonna pop. This one might be interesting to watch because if you have three, was it two candles? Yeah, three candles that are bullish. That's a very strong sign. I'm looking at the daily um, charts. That says something. That says something in itself. Oh, um, yeah, here I got myself confused. Yeah, it's, it's still it's still uh, bullish candles. So that is quite interesting. This is starting to form something, and usually, um, mm, don't know what to say, but that's pretty good. Let me just see. Okay, so that's XRP USDT. XRP USDT. So finance against Tether. I'm oh, sorry, Ripple against Tether. That's what we're checking out right now. So it is a buy. see on the uh, five day yeah it looks like it may be ready to move it's possible it's got this, the right signals there okay let's move to the next one hmm MFT Ethereum. Slightly higher volume than before. Volume still fairly low. It is starting to go green. It is moving up. So this may be a bottoming process. Mm, not a, it's more negative on the daily returns. Bearish, 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 bullish. So I don't know if it's bearish, bearish in a bull. That means is still probably gonna fall. There's no harmonic. Uh, this one, don't know. It was exciting at the beginning of this, but it's gone through a massive, a massive uh, bottoming process here. Let me just check that out. That's called. Uh, MFT Ethereum mainframe Ethereum it's on the cell it's gone up this could be one of those particular um, Here's that could be manipulated somehow. I'm not saying they, it is or it isn't, but it looks kind of odd. Mm. Yeah. One more to look at. Um, Get this right. Okay. Doc BTC. Higher volume this time. Uh, 
slightly higher on the volatility front. Again, we have a downward trend here. Mm, more negative returns, very low, bullish, and a bullish signal. No harmonics, so not as convincing. Let's do one more. POE, BTC, actually, let me just see what the uh, uh, trading view says. Uh, let's see here. So we're looking for doc. Uh, we got bullish and a bullish. So we have two bullish signals. That's a good sign. Doc. BTC. Okay, let me just do some further digging in this. It's been hammered down. Downward trend, still below trend there. Mm. We have a green bar, which is good. It's one of those situations where it does go up a little bit and it'll come back down pretty fast. So these are what we call the whipsaws. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's check the whipsaw list. So we are looking for doc. It's not on there. That's probably why it's on there, because it didn't have any form of whipsaws. I don't know. You can always put this on the side to watch it. But uh, you think by looking at it, there was some form of bottoming, but don't think so. Anyways, um, let me see if there's anything else I can show you. Okay, so we've looked at um, that's on volume. We looked at trend as well. Uh, I think that's pretty well it. So the ones I would definitely look at is Litecoin and uh, the DNT. There's some opportunity there, that's for sure. Those are the two ones I'd be interested in. Uh, with this particular strategy, but the other one does not like DNT for some reason. Um, other than that, uh, hopefully you got some use out of this, but uh, this will be part of my analytics service, um, which you can find if you go over to my quantlabs.net website. There will be two new levels for this. Um, be putting out a signal as close as real-time signals as I can get with the winning strategy but I'll come back with some more details on that but that's what I'm thinking of but this old strategy is very useful as well more for long term but um, if you are interested you can always come under this quant analytics service and subscribe hopefully you got some use out of this talk to you later